What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. Happy Monday to you guys. I am so bummed out today. I'm telling you, oh my goodness. Let's just start with this shirt. I just now took this shirt out the pack, and it is doing all kinds of crazy stuff. I don't know whether it's because I got a t-shirt underneath it, but it is just doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Anywho, so over the weekend, I started feeling some discomfort at the bottom of my gums. And <clears throat> this morning when I woke up, um, I put this down and used the mirror and I shaved my face and everything. And then I brushed my teeth. And what I noticed when I was brushing my teeth and rinsing my mouth, that I had some corrosion starting at the bottom of one of my bottom teeth and it appears that where that that tooth that that corrosion in my gums are starting to happen that tooth feels like it's coming a little loose uh, and short and so i was like oh my goodness here we go again and i tell you this is what happens or is happening to me because my fear of going to the dentist. This is something that I was always afraid to do when I was a kid, and it just carried on through into my adult life. And now I'm starting to have all these problems with my mouth, and it's time for me to overcome those fears. I've talked about this on my channel several times, and get start getting things done or i'm going to end up with no teeth in my mouth none that is not going to be cute at all but that's what's going to happen that's the reality of it if i don't start taking the necessary steps to take care of this um i'm not going to have any te uh, teeth in my mouth so this morning i decided that this will be the day that i will move forward and start having things taken care of. The last time I went to the dentist was August the 4th this year. They gave me a list of three things that I need to do in order to correct. Now, we're only talking about the front. They don't know anything about this new development about the bottom gums, what's going on there. So I called the dentist this morning and because I lost the list that they gave me of steps that I need to take care of the top. And so I called them this morning and they, she told me the things in order that I need to do. And I need to, first of all, make an appointment to see an oral surgeon and have three teeth pulled out. This is so that I can get some front dentures up in the front. And because one is already out and I got to get three more out so that they can put, a, I guess, a whole thing there. Then I need to go to a, a periodontist. I think I'm saying that right. To get a deep cleaning of my gums. Now, my friend told me that that's a, a multiple visit type of thing that they are not going to do all of it in one visit. So that wasn't good news for me to hear. But anyway... And then I go in and get the dentures all made up and done and whatever, measured, whatever they do for that. So I called my insurance company after I talked with the dentist's office. I called my insurance company and asked them to, you know, locate a oral surgeon for me. So I'm talking to this guy. Um, he sounds like he's a foreigner which is no surprise to me because it seemed like, you know, every time you call medical reasons and not even just medical reasons, other things, you can call your 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 um your phone company, your cell phone company and it seemed like a a foreigner will answer the phone. No offense to foreigners, so please don't make it sound like I'm kind of prejudiced of them. It's just that sometimes in my experience, I've gotten people on the phone that I can hardly understand. And I'm thinking, okay, how is this person a in customer service when I can hardly understand them? Anywho, he tells me that, you know, I give him my insurance ID number and he tells me that, 
Mr. Matthews, you um as of January the first, uh, twenty twenty one, your insurance have inspired and th what? Yeah, I was like, what? He said, as of January uh first, twenty twenty one, your I'm th I'm looking like, what the hell are you talking about? And so he said, I'm like. I have a fresh card in my hand that I didn't have never used this year. I have a fresh card in my hand. This card is due. How in the hell is my insurance supposed to be expired? They sent me this card this year. And so he kept on saying, I'm sorry, I apologize, Mr. Matthews. And then I just was like, stop saying that. Stop saying that. Stop apologizing, you know. And then so I reached back in my bag, my lunch bag, and got my last paste, my last paste stub out, you know. And I'm looking like, okay, they took $76.62 out of my pay for my insurance. How the hell is my insurance not up to date? Then he goes, what well, Mr. Matthews, um I have to call your benefit center and 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 update your policy and this, that, and the other. And I was like, and then he and then he started you hear him typing and doo -doo 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 -doo. and then he comes back and said, I can't find your um benefits uh center number. Do you have it? Is it on your card? I'm like, oh God. I'm like thinking to myself. This is another fucking reason why this shit is going on. Because of the shit you have to go through to get some basic help. And and these people can't help you. And I'm thinking the whole time, how in the hell am I getting my in money taken out of my account, my money taken out of my check every single two weeks, every two weeks, and you're telling me I don't have insurance. And I'm looking at my last pay stub that I just got paid last week that has my insurance taken out of it, you know? So how in the hell do he's going to tell me that I don't have my shit is expired? That don't make any sense. So when I go to work today, I'm going right up in that human resource office and like, okay, what is going on here? I'm trying to get some work done and they're telling me, here I am at the end of the year, they're telling me I don't have no freaking insurance. I'm like, oh, nobody. <laughs> Something is wrong on your end because this brother here have insurance and I have the proof on this pay stub here. And so now he says that, okay, um, let me have your callback number and I will call you back once I locate your benefit center number. What? And so I gave him my uh, cell phone number and everything, and I'm waiting for him to call me back and, and and let me know what is going on. I'm thinking, so this guy is telling me all year long, all year long, I have not been insured. No, no, and no. That is not correct at all. I don't know what he got on his computer but that is not correct at all. I don't even use my insurance. I don't even use it. I have not used my insurance for anything for years. I've, even when I go to get a, a, a annual routine checkup, I don't have to pay anything, you know, because it's preventive, whatever, you know. I have not had my insurance had to pay for anything for me in years, because I usually, like I said, just go and get a a checkup every year and get some blood work and all that kind of stuff, and I don't have to pay for that. And now, all of a sudden, when I need some help, all I needed him to do was tell me uh, the location of the closest uh, oral surgeon so I can go and have these three teeth pulled, and he's going to come back and tell me I don't have no insurance. Oh, you know, you, you need to go back to training and learn how to do your job because you are so wrong about me not having no damn insurance when I'm looking at my paycheck, my pay stub, and $76.62 is coming out of my paycheck every two weeks for my insurance. So you can go 
F yourself. Cause mm, I'm telling you now. And this is the this is the thing that, you know, it just when it comes to medical shit, they make some situations so difficult for people. It discourages people to to want to go and check and, and, and stay up to date with their health and everything because of all the BS that you have to go through to, to you know, to get help, to get service and everything. Yeah, I am. I, I, I know I got insurance. I don't know what the hell they talking about. But anyway, I was in such a bummed out mood this morning. I almost felt like I don't want to go to work today. Um, but then I talked to my sister and she was really excited about Thanksgiving and it lifted my spirits a little bit. And then I called and this knucklehead that I talked to on the phone brought my spirits right back down, telling me I don't have no uh, health insurance or whatever. And it was expired January the uh, 1st of this year. And it doesn't re, I guess, get back into the system until January 1st of next year. I'm like, there is no way I went the whole year and they take it. It, I, it don't even make sense to me because if you don't have insurance, you don't have money coming out of your paycheck. <laughs> am I Am I right? <laughs> am I right about that? How can money be taken out of my paycheck for, for insurance if I don't have insurance? So I was not understanding him and he was frustrating the hell out of me because I was like, please stop, stop apologizing and, and, and help me out here, you know? But anyway, I, I'm going to get off of here because I can rant on about this and he, I don't know how long it's going to take for him to call me back or do whatever. What's the point in, 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 in reinstating if, if, you know, insurance when the, the year's almost over with? Hell, I might as well wait until next year if that's the case. And if that's the case, I'm going to find out about this shit. Because if they talking about I ain't got no insurance, I'm going to my job today. And I'm going to go in that human resource office and I'm going to talk to her about it today. Because if they talking about somebody ain't got no damn insurance, then they owe me a lot of damn money back for pay taking this money out of my paycheck every day going week, every two weeks. I about had it with them. You know, here I am. You know, finally today, because of what's now going on, this new development with the bottom of my mouth, finally today said, okay, Anthony, this is the day that you are going to get over your fears and move forward and start getting things done and taking care of with your mouth. And I run into this bullshit, you know, and now I'm back to feeling like, you know what? Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. I'm out of here because I'm so pissed now and I don't want to be pissed. I'm trying to get out of this little funk today so that I can go to work. I don't even feel like going to work today. I don't even feel like, I just feel like just relaxing and resetting my mind today because I was bummed out when I woke up today and, and discovered that. And, and then again, I felt a little better when I spoke to my sister and saw how enthusiastic she was about us meeting getting together as a family and having thanksgiving then i called this knucklehead and i'm back down feeling like oh goodness i'm about to just go go back i'm about to go in the back and go back to bed i'm about to go back to bed all right guys that's gonna be a wrap for today's video thanks for lending me your ear so that i can rant today and as always Thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I will see you guys sometime, sometime this week soon. All right. I'm out.